Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Nerd Umbrella Plays We the Revolution. Uh, my name is Peter, and I found this game at PAX West last year and played it for like a little bit, but I don't think it's a type of game that was particularly well suited to the show floor. Um, in it, you're a uh, French revolutionary judge, and you have to like very in depth go into trials and evidence and question people, and I ended up just really gu guillotining a lot of people so i'm excited that it's finally released like uh, six or seven months later and i thought i would uh do a little playthrough of it or see how it goes um i know nothing i haven't played this game at all other than what i played at pax so i know vaguely some of the mechanics but like honestly there are so many different systems at work that i'm basically going in completely blind so let's just jump right into it. Father. I am here. Do you hear me? Yeah, one thing that really attracted me to this game cool. initially is like the really cool art style and I think that has kept up for sure in the final product why did you disown me I have your blood in my veins how could you Why do you grieve for him? He was nothing. I am better than he was. People will follow in my footsteps. Father. Art style is sick. That's some cool. French Revolution going on. I should just have Les Mis being played. I know it's not the same French Revolution, but... All right. We in France. So I think the beginning here will be the tutorial, which will be helpful. As a little refresher. All right. So we're in a courtroom. This was bound to happen. <laughs> this guy is just too drunk. I'm fed up with asking. I guess I, I guess I should read these. I mean, like I'm reading them, but I mean for the video. To prove he was more honorable than his father, so he started a fight. A five-year-old boy, for God's sake! Our neighbors wanted to explain that to them, but well, you were fighting for justice. At an M. Damn you, you bloody drunk. Mother. So this kid got in a fight. Dragon up documents to match the layout. Click to display their contents. All right. Reactive events. Ignoring them may have severe consequences. So events, documents, notebook, verdict. Yeah, I remember the verdict. That's for sure. Options we can do. Okay, this is the part that I like saw on the show floor and was nuts. I, I like I could not understand it in like the ten minutes I played it before. 
there's a lot of like different parties at play here. Influence points are the main currents in the game. Notifications. Global modifiers. Wait. Changes the world's calculus of action. Okay. So let's just take a look at the hierarchy right now. We are at the bottom. We're a judge and we're drunk. In private, he's an unremarkable character. Same. Okay, so we got a we got a witness here. Got some options. We got no notifications. We got three influence points. Let's take a look at the case file. To Judge Alexis Fidel, we have not expressed this kind of behavior from your son. Although we should have innocent child play turned to assault on our children. The younger one, Antona's chipped front tooth. Dude, we gotta punish this child. We have to punish this innocent child who chipped a tooth. Let's click on innocent and see what happens. Okay. Finding links. Finding the correct links to unlock questions for the defendant. Choose the line inquiry and link it to the right category. So I have a, yeah, I remember this. While linking lines of inquiry and categories, you can make a limited number of mistakes. If you make too many mistakes, the whole system becomes locked. And then traps, um... Basically, if you, like, pick obvious or, like, super obvious stuff that are meant by, like, the defendant's lawyer to trap you, you can get hit. I want to go back. I want to click on all the things. So we got innocent, and that brings up that menu. We'll do an assault. Victim. Okay. Does it give us all of them already? Antone is this kid. Okay, yeah. Chip front tooth is that. Okay. So we've gotten all that. It's an assault. Let's take a look at the news. Make your decision. Each action may require a different number of influence points and have a different chance of success. Consider them carefully. Your your addictions are no longer a secret. The fact that other children are bullying your son has because of them has become a minor problem. But who is spreading those rumors? It's likely one of those parents. They have whispered into their children's ears whom they shouldn't play with and why. They may even spiced up the story with a lie. Ooh. But who will hear next? Um, I don't think intimidating the parents is a good idea. Let's just, let's talk eye to eye. So minus one influence points, but I made that decision, I guess. We'll see what the result of that is later. Neg negative relations with factions. I mean negative consequences, reputation. I influence points. Okay. I feel like it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Revolutionaries are medium, common folk are medium. Reputation is two. There's a lot of screens here. Events, neighborhood gossip. Okay, cool. That's interesting. Global modifiers done. Okay. So we're back. That was the notebook. Yeah. And we can just verdict him right away. So let's let's get to this uh, this kid here. Okay. Okay. So let's go here. Let's link Okay, so we linked there. The injured in town and the victim. I want Hmm. Do you think fighting children or possibility of retreating for extenuating circumstances? Nope. Okay, I'm going to do chipped tooth course of events. Um, let's see. Possibility of extenuating. Oh, caught in a trap. 
Okay, so I think. Okay, so we have one. If we make another mistake, it freezes up. Child's play. Extenuating circumstances. And we have one more question. Okay, got all the questions. Even though we fell into the trap. So let's say. Uh, who started the fight? He can tell you who ended it. Am I right? I think it was me. I kicked the one on the left. I wanted to get the one to the right. But they ended it. They knocked me to the ground and paid me back for hitting them. Did you really break his tooth? Frederick does not think so. What exactly were they saying? They were yelling that you are well. I told them that it's not true, and they called me again to call me a drunkard's son. How did your play turn into a fight? Our neighbors, they were saying mean things about you, we were guards, and they asked him to pretend to be a drunkard. You were fighting both of them at once? I had to. Okay. So we hit all the questions. See what else we have to click on here. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go to verdict now. Make the important verdict. And then the defendant or deem them not guilty. Send the die cancel the as your verdict. Alright, so this kid broke uh, broke his uh his classmate teeth because We uh, were drunk all the time, and his, his classmates were teasing him. So we can give him guilty. This is it. This is like a perfect thing of what I saw in this game. So guilty is like punishing him for getting picked on and fighting back, right? But not guilty is just like giving ourselves an excuse to continue being drunk. Like there's no punishment. But I don't know. It, it's very strange. Um, I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna be a good dad. Oh man, not guilty just feels so bad. Like we're just setting an example. All right. Oh, but guilty. Oh, okay. We're gonna. We're going not guilty. We're going not guilty. Sign. Sign away. Yeah, you punch those kids. All right. Now, the children are so small, they already know the truth. The father of my children is a lying drunk and a gambler. Bernard used to worship you, but he soon grew up. Now it is Frederick's turn to learn the truth that echoes in the streets. He's no longer fearing your anger. He knows that your threats are empty. Frederick is starting to learn the truth about his father from the streets. I was one unaware that Mathilde had such a temper. As was I, am I right? <laughs> we will wait outside, as always. Okay. So we let my child off. Good job punching those kids. It would just feel really bad. Perry. Well, I mean, I think this game is just gonna make it. I think that's the thing. We were enchanted by the idea of freedom. We could not resist it. Whole families took to the streets. <laughs> France was never so happy. We were enchanted by the idea of freedom. prologue so we found the questions at the maximum limit. we fell into every trap and answered all the questions or got all the questions wrong to find it but we did it and we let our son go all right now we're in an actual courtroom 
Find out which verdict is expected by your factions and your close ones. Revolutionaries think he should go free. Common folk and family think he should go to prison. Okay. That's just the... Oh, we got a new folder. Protocol. Review the trial's records. Sure. Got a bunch of cases. Let's take a look at the news. Father had a rare upset of foolishness when he decided to stand up to some stronger, threatening him with a fist and showing his child that it was safe by our sides. He did not listen to your arguments. Furthermore, he gave precise decisions of where you can shove them. Up your butt, probably. Dude, I'm... You, okay, angry father, I don't care. I don't care. We're not hiring any thugs. Alright. So we got a jury. We got this guy. I guess this guy right there. Death penalty, prison, acquittal, global modifiers. Okay. Let's get into it. Alexis Fidel, your name. Dian. Fresh Friends since 1772. I am going to butcher every French pronunciation in this fucking game. So, yo. And a vandal since yesterday. I'm not part of what I did, but enough is enough. Really, like when six months ago you stole eight francs from my revenue? Jean Corby. Some urchin took that from your pockets while you were silent. You shall not speak unless questioned. Systematically opposing the opinion of jury may lead to serious consequences. Yeah, it seems reasonable. Okay, so we gotta unlock some questions. We dealt with the news. Let's go to the case. Alright, Cor Corby does not pay the city for his stall. Furthermore, he openly criticizes the new rule while talking to his clients. Okay. Let's move that over there. Let's check this one. One of the local merchants, uh, Guy Dinau, went to the. Dino? Dino? Went to the National Guard station near the halls. With a raised voice, he stated that the owner of a neighboring stall had purposely poured wood tar into the bar barrel of his herrings. Okay, that just takes us back out. For this supposed crime, Dino was. Generated a po proper punishment. Soldiers went to the halls and established that the herrings did indeed taste awful. Since there was no evidence of the crime, they did not take any action. Four, a few hours later, the guard returned to the halls. This time, it was the formerly accused Jean Corbeau who called for them, and there was a plethora of evidence on site. The clear being to know himself, smashing his neighbor's stall with a wood, long wooden pole in front of witnesses. Okay, so he said that Corbeau, this guy said that Corbeau poured wood tar into his herrings, um, and then he smashed up his his uh, stall with a long wooden pole. Also, Corbeau does not pay the city for his stall, and he criticizes the new rule. So let's get into it. Let's get into the questioning here. Okay. Let's do wooden pole incident of the crime. Let's do interesting. It took out wood tar for us when we did that one. Let's do counter revolutionary propaganda, offender's personality. No. Stall next to the entrance crime scene. Old denunciation. Finished personality. And I mean, okay. I thought that might be a little too obvious, but there's no trap. Okay. So, this is. We can influence the jury's opinion based on whether we think him to go free or not um so this is kind of an interesting decision so we can choose so this guy doesn't like the um 
criticizes the new rule. He's a counter-revolutionary. Are we in favor of the revolution or not? Uh, French Revolution, generally good, right? So screw this guy? I don't know. We'll see. Okay, let's... Let's get this guy here. Let's get him on the stand here. Questions for the witness. Do you really dispute the new order? Is it true that you took him in his place at the entrance of the halls? Let's, let's do this. Let's keep it relevant to the case. Is it true you took his place? He took the place first from the dead merchant. I only did the same at a convenient time. What was that? Was that your first conflict? Oh, I've skipped that shit. Can I read that? Citizen to know. I can see that you wish to add something. Please refrain from doing so. Why did you have wood tar with you that day? I sell fruit, but my suppliers sometimes buy wood tar because it repels pests. And did you pour it into his barrel? Did you do it? I did nothing of the sort. He probably poured it in false flag operations. Too real. Liar. Calm down. Okay. So the jury is... That moved the jury closer to executing this guy. We have found your denunciation of Citizen Corbo. Why did you write it? You did it because I started selling sprats. I don't know what a sprat is. Judge, I wanted to help the city. Every stallholder pays for the price for the halls. Corbo showed it too. You liar and cook. Don't you remember hiding from the royal collector at the butcher's wall? Silence. I was trying to avoid royal taxes. You only started after the beginning of the revolution. These are some unruly folk here. So, the jury thinks I should let him go. I could stop. Okay, I want to get back out and see the report here. Okay. When that tries to draw. Okay, that's what we missed. The 30 francs line here in the late 70s when that. Okay, that So the revolutionaries want me to let him go. My family and the prison wants him locked up. Uh, so I th think, let's see. So <laughs> I love this line. Um, soldiers went to the halls and established that the herrings did indeed taste awful. <laughs> Yikes. So I think if we wanted to really get him all the way down, I think we needed to do the wood tar in stream of crime um, instead of wooden pole because that focused it more on him. Um, so we don't want to move him. So I'm going to take the side of the revolutionaries on this one. Um, and I don't want to move him any more towards this. So I'm just going to say... You're good. I find the defendant not guilty. It lowers our opinion with the common folk, but is good with the revolutionaries. We'll see what we'll see what happens. Okay, move your stall, dude. Well, sick burn moves hairs close closer to the trash. Why did no one think to separate those two troublemakers sooner? Okay. So we get let him go. The jury kind of agreed with us that they just uh, just needed to be separated. No harm, no foul. Except harm and also foul. Okay. Robespierre is at the top. As the leader of the Rackle of Jacobin. Dude, I should have. I wish this game had come out right after I took AP Euro. This would have been sick. None have dared defy him. He's at the top. Um. So we're high with the revolutionaries. Alright, no global modifiers. Alright, well, let's move on.
May I remind you that you promised to join me? I have a feeling that tonight's moon favors gamblers, though it does not favor spouses. Am I right? God should grace us with wives who understand the importance of an evening game of dice. They should also know that the right amount of wine guarantees a lucky roll. I should go home. Bring a judge to the game has benefits. Other players will surely not cheat. That is not a strong argument. I agree. My name is Jacques-Louis David. David. I am but a humble painter, not a silver-tongued judge. You sly a politician, Jacques. As a politician, I understand the importance of keeping promises, and you, my friend, are trying to get out of yours. So I'm going to keep my promise and go gamble, or am I going to just go home? I feel like i got to be true to the character. I feel like i got to keep my promise and go get drunk and do gambling. That seems like the revolu the French Revolution thing to do. <laughs> yeah. Party time. Oh, she's all alone. She's so sad. My meal. It's getting cold. The candle has burned out. <laughs> Oh no, she's angry. <laughs> and we did go against our family. <laughs> Look at that juxtaposition. We did go against our family in the uh, the hearing today too. The moon favors gamblers. The moon favors gamblers. Late evening in the judge's house. All right, let's do this confrontation. And I think this will be the end to this one. Oh, we're back. What? <laughs> well, I did just skip out on dinner to go gambling. <laughs> Frederick sometimes imagines you as a deep-sea sailor. He dreams you visit distant countries, have wonderful adventures, and one day you'll return and tell us all about them. Little does he know. I see he's a man in a lifeboat, and one of your oars is broken. A fury storm turns up huge waves that are fitted to devour you, and I'm standing on the edge of a cliff holding a makeshift lamp. Your children have already forgotten about you. They are far, far away. Your father died of old age. Your drinking companions now play cards with new friends. But not you. Now I'm still standing on the shore hoping that your boat does not sink. Oh, she's so nice to me. The vision is not so distant either. Your sons are still young, but the storm has already begun. If you don't turn around now. Oh. Good. I really like... Man, this art style is so good. Before the storm creates the highest wave, you'll have to bow before it alone. It will force you to become meek. And no one will be there to see it. She's like, hey, stop fucking up. Decision in court can influence your relationships with the family. You have to choose an action to see its description. And with David to play cards. Upon returning home, you can decide how you'd like to spend the rest of the day. Various actions. Each action will affect other members of the family as well as their attitude towards you. Each character's attitude can provide you or deprive you of certain bonuses, e.g. reputation or relations with factions. Your youngest son is special. His attitude makes the other family feel like you slightly more. Take good care of him. After various important events, you have found act forced upon you. I begin the victim of final decisions. So this, these are things I can do. Um, today, I went with David to play cards. Okay, so it's going to, like, lower my... I don't know. Okay, down. Sun went down. Revolutionaries went down. People stayed the same. Okay. Act 1, day 2. Alright, that wraps us up for the first episode of We the Revolution. Uh, thanks for watching, and, uh... This is my first like, playthrough of a thing, so apologize for any bumps. I'm get, still getting used to like reading things out loud. Uh, but let me know what you think, and if you want to see more of We the Revolution, uh, I will upload some more in a little bit. Probably once every couple of days. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.